uh, I got, uh, hopefully, uh, you know, we won't, we won't go too, too, too long with this, so you can continue enjoying your, your 420, uh, festivities, of, you know, with whatever you're doing, um, but, um, yeah, I got two, two, two quick stories for you guys, quick-ish, quick for Krish, uh, so, the first one happens, um, a number of years ago, probably four or five years ago, I think four years ago, is is probably accurate. Um, it was uh, it was in the fall, and I had taken this two month tour. Gone through this pretty rough breakup, and, and my life had pr- pretty much been twisted. Um, a, a friend of mine was letting me stay with him. Um, very kind of him in Washington D.C. and I basically decided that I got to go on this tour for two months. So I went on on tour for I think longer than that. I think I went for like almost three months uh, on the road. But I, I left in uh, the middle of August. I didn't come back until almost the the end of uh, November. Like the week of Thanksgiving is when I really came back. Um, so that's what August, September, October. November, oh yeah, uh, uh, August, September, August, September, September, October, so about three months, something like that, right, okay, long ass tour, in the midst of this tour, I was down south, Gulf Coast area, and I was in, I was uh, going through Alabama, uh, you know, doing some shows in uh, Huntsville, Montgomery, um, and then Mobile, now when I was in Mobile, I was couch surfing with a, with, with a, uh, with a cat, super, super, this guy was great, he was awesome. He was really fun to hang out with, uh, and I'll describe that situation in, in, in just a minute here. But uh, you know, I basically had to extend my stay with him because, um, well, there was a hurricane happening, and uh, and I had some gigs in Florida, and I had to cancel these gigs because there was a hurricane happening. And the <laughs> what was kind of wild was, uh, first of all, the gigs were. Like, one of them was basically at, like, this white supremacist biker bar uh, in, 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 like, uh, in Florida. And I was going to go feature doing my style of comedy, right? This sort of lefty, socialist, like, hey, let's get along with each other. Here's the problem with uh, machismo and imperialism kind of comedy. You know, the anti-imperialism, radical, fucking left-wing, socialist, hippie commune comedy. <laughs> Perfect for the 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 uh, the white supremacist biker bar, <laughs> and the booker was like, "Hey, the headline I was gonna feature, right? I was I was gonna do twenty five to thirty minutes, uh, which I'm sure was gonna go just swell, just great." And um, and I remember the booker was like, "Hey, the headliner's not gonna be able to make it. Do you want a headline?" And I was like, "Oh man, um, first of all." I, want, I, I, don't, I have no guarantees that even if this wasn't a white supremacist biker bar, that I'm going to get out of this fucking place alive. And now you add a hurricane on top of that, there's almost a guarantee that I'm not going to. So I had to kind of wiggle my way around to be like, this seems like a real bad idea. And then like literally 15 minutes after I said that, she was like, uh, yeah, you're probably right. Um, gas just went up to four... 450 a gallon or something and she's like I don't want you to get caught in Florida and not be able to continue the rest of the way on your tour and I was like okay so we canceled the gigs and I had to extend my stay in Mobile Alabama so um staying uh with this with this fella uh he lives about 20 minutes outside Mobile and he lives sort of uh in in the in the sticks in the boonies a little bit Nothing too scary or anything. You know, a nice, uh, uh, nice little house. Um, what one maybe like a mobile, not a mobile home. It wasn't really a mobile home, um, but it was. A, it was a, you know, a nice open field, uh, open front yard, open backyard, and um, I pull up and I park my car. And as I park my car, I see this pig run to the fence and start blinking at me. <laughs> I was just like, what is happening? And I see this like bigger hog fucking waddle over and then there's a dog that comes up and I was like, this is crazy. What is happening right now? And he comes out and he greets me and you know, uh, he's like, this one's a younger pig 
uh, the younger pig gets very excited. Uh, the older hog ain't going to do anything. They act like dogs. So if you let them sniff, sniff you and kind of uh, get to know you a little bit, they will chill out and, uh, you know, and then they'll hang out with you. I was like, sure, man, that's fine. That seems, that seems like, you know, that seems fine. And I, you know, the pigs smell me and I, uh, pet them and they're very, I mean, they have fur, you know, if you've never pet a pig before, uh, they do have fur. Uh, the older pig was a little bit more bristly than the younger one was. The younger one was a little softer, uh, but they were fucking adorable. They were great. Just hanging out with these pigs. These adorable fucking hogs and shit. It was great. It was awesome. So, you know, I told him what was going on. He was like, yeah, you can, you know, crash the extra uh, two or three days before you have to make your way to uh, uh, Louisiana or whatever. So I was like, all right. Uh, so we had that taken care of. I felt pretty good about it. Um, and uh, so uh, I do my show in Mobile. Show was weird. Uh, that was the first time somebody yelled Roll Tide at me. Uh, yeah, I had never heard that particular uh, terminology before um, until, <laughs> until that day. And I was just like, what? <laughs> what's happening? Uh, so I got to learn what Roll Tide was. And then over the weekend, he was like, well, I'm having uh, some folks come over and we're going to have like a little dinner party and partake in some, uh, in some festivities. I was like, sure, man, that sounds fun. I got, I got nothing going on till, till I got to leave on Monday. So, you know, let's do it. Let's, 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 let's have, let's have a good time, you know? So we roll in, um, you know, and, uh, uh, the comic that set up the show in Mobile also pops over, uh, and, uh, you know, I, uh, I, you know, eat some food. It was a good time. And then they were like, hey, we're going to partake in some herbs. Uh, and I was like, okay. And they pull out a bottle. That and, and then they pull out a second bottle and duct tape it. And they essentially make this thing called what what is what uh, some people might uh, refer to as a gravity bong. Uh, I had never done one of those before. I'm also not big on smoking. I'm not, I don't, I don't really, um, it's just not, it's just not something that I do very often. It makes me sleepy is usually what it does. I get pretty tired pretty quickly. Um, I'm not, um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not like a fun person to be around in that situation. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm like hyper for about 15 minutes and then it's just like bedtime. Uh, and I will literally fall asleep in the middle of a conversation. I've literally fallen asleep in the middle of a conversation. So, um, you know, I was like, all right, I'll try this thing. You know, we'll see, we'll see what happens. I've never done this before. I, I will be, uh, careful. So they show me how to do it. And so, uh, so I did, it. I did that. Uh, I did the whole thing. I just, you know, took the whole rush of it and I started coughing immediately and uh, and it didn't stop uh, for like a I, I want to say a good five minutes. Like my my abs hurt from coughing that hard. And uh, it, and then like immediately after I stopped coughing, um, <laughs> I um, I was like immediately just fucking way too ripped like way too ripped and I didn't know what to do like I'm just kind of like holy shit and then they they wanted me to like take another hit and I don't I don't think I could at that point like physically I just couldn't um so I I might have taken another I don't remember if I took a second swig or not I felt like I shouldn't so I think I probably stopped but I was just like and then it and then it was one of those highs that just kept getting higher and higher and I was just like what the fuck is going like what am I doing um you know kind of that it was it was kind of like that situation and uh so I had to step outside and I stepped outside for a minute and uh, I'm just kind of standing outside I'm listening to 
uh, to the rain because it was raining and I'm listening to the rain kind of hit the tin roof and I was just like holy shit this is crazy I could I, like I'm, I, I felt like I was seeing the fucking like sound uh, like I was like I, I felt like I was seeing the sound vibrations of the rain hitting the tin and the fucking hogs come over to me and the older one you know kind of comes plops down and he looks at me and I and then I, I look back at him and I was like yeah man I know like I'm, I'm way too fucking high right now Like this is crazy This is nuts uh, And then the little Like the little one uh, big, And he'd been very friendly with me And would come up And like I'd pet him and stuff And I was just like Holy shit I don't know if I can Be around these hogs right now And then I also And then I got real self conscious Because I was like I'm pretty sure these fucking pigs Know I'm high man And uh, I, I, I don't know if they're judging me But I'm getting a judgy vibe like, I'm getting a real judgy vibe from these hogs, you know? Like, these hogs are like, man, you did not understand what this fucking gravity bong was going to do. You misinterpreted it. Uh, and you fucked up. You fucked up, buddy. You know? You just you just didn't do it right. And I felt real judged. Uh, so, you know, go back inside... I would sit down for a few minutes. Everybody's kind of having, uh, you know, having fun with what's going on. They're playing some music. Uh, threw on some old Jimi Hendrix, um, which boy, I don't think I've heard Jimi Hendrix in a long time. Uh, that's a, a weird aside there for the moment. But uh, I remember talking to the comic who had come over to hang out. I remember talking to him. And I remember saying, like, I can really feel the music. Can't you really feel the music? I really feel this music. And he was like, yeah, man. Yeah, I bet you can't. Bet you're having a real good time. And I was like, I am. I am having a real good time with the music. Uh, and, and, you know, at this... At, I'm still getting higher. Like, I still feel like I'm getting higher and higher at this point. And I'd had so much to eat. You know that I and and now it's starting to get to that high where like I'm losing equilibrium. Uh, <laughs> and I like got real concerned, and I think I went to the bathroom to like throw up. I can't remember. I have a vague memory of that, but essentially, like I splashed some water in my face, uh, brushed my teeth, and I had to like go. I had to fucking just go to bed. And I, like, felt like I couldn't tell anybody because I didn't want anybody to think that, like, I couldn't handle what was going on with me. Like, I felt... Again, I felt, like, real self-conscious. Um, so I, I, I took a step outside for just a moment. And, again, those I saw those pigs and the, and the older one kind of, like, looked up at me. And I was just like, bro, I'm still, like... This is, like, getting real intense, right? Like, I'm trying to, like, talk, talk it out with these pigs. Like, maybe the pigs will... Um, I don't know, be able to uh, uh, help me out. Maybe the pigs will have, like, a, a word of advice. Like, I could connect with these with these hogs, right? And the, and they'll, they'll be like, yeah, man, just drink some water, you know? Like, uh, get some juice or something, uh, you know? And just lay down, close your eyes, try to stay still, you know? Uh, like, I thought maybe some advice would come out of it. They didn't. They didn't. I just felt judged. Uh, by these hogs, you know, like, I just felt like, like, in their, in, in their mind, they were just like, ah, fucking humans, these fucking bipedal assholes, you know, uh, they're just, they're just not doing the, these, this, this plant right, look at them, they're fucking smoking it out of plastic bottles and shit, just cook it, cook it into some things, <laughs> so, I went back in, and I basically decided I gotta go to bed, right, and I, uh, like working my way and then I saw the comic and the comic was like hey man be careful take care of yourself and I was like I'm going to bed <laughs> uh, and so they were they were very nice about it they were like yeah I think that's a good idea buddy <laughs> and <laughs> And they were basically like, we'll see you soon. Like, they were kind of like, you know, like, you know how you, like, talk to a child um, that is that is clearly, you know, um, had, like, that, that is, that is like, 
not ready to go to bed but needs to go to bed uh they could kind of see like i was in that phase they were, you know they might have just pat me on the head give me a little head tuffle there and he was like you know take care of yourself make sure you're gonna be okay and i went to bed and it was tough getting to sleep to be honest I just remember having a real hard time falling asleep because I just felt like I, like I was still fucking getting higher. And I was like, this is fucking crazy. And, I, and then it got to that point where I was like, I'm stuck like this. This is me forever. I don't think I'm getting out of this. Uh, you know, I was like, I gotta, I gotta just tighten the fucking sheets around my bed. And then I was like, I think these pants are too hot. So I slept in my boxers. Uh, I locked the door. I fucking just tightened the goddamn sheets around me. And I was like, if I constrain myself, I don't have pants. I'll be fine. And eventually I did fall asleep. I think I fell asleep for like 14 hours or something. Uh, Because I don't remember getting up till about 12, 31 o'clock in the afternoon the following day. Um... It was, I mean, it was, it was a while. Uh, and you know, I, I talked to, I talked to the couch surfer and they were, he, he, he was just, he was very nice about it, but he kind of had to laugh about it. And of course you have to fucking laugh about it, right? Like, this is such a weird, goofy thing to happen to somebody. So he laughed about it and he was like, yeah, it just sounds like, you know, you got a, got a little too high. You know, it sounds like it sounds like you overdid it. You you went past your limit there. You know, so that was a good lesson to learn uh, in uh, understanding my limit. Hey, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you are a new to this channel, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you get notifications when uh, I put up new videos. I'm going to be putting up videos every single day. So there's going to be a ton of content coming out on this channel. Uh, there's going to be storytelling, uh, commentary about the media, uh, historical commentary, philosophical commentary, all surrounding uh, stand-up comic. If you, if you like comedic commentary about these topics, then this is the channel for you. Uh, and if you uh, come to the channel often and you haven't subscribed, what, what, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Get, get, get subscribed to this. Come, come hang out with us. <laughs> but uh, for more information about me, you can go to my website, uh, ramanoodlescomedy.com. That's R-A-M-A-N noodlescomedy.com. Uh, while you're there, you can check out all of my past stand-up comedy albums, which if you snag them from Bandcamp are available as pay what you want, which means that they're uh, available for free. Uh, you can check out past videos, you can check out past podcasts, and uh, you can donate if you have the ability to make a one-time donation or become a sustaining member. You can donate directly on my website and become a sustaining member directly on my website. And Or you can see how, you know, the various different ways that you can make a donation. And you can also find out about live stand-up comedy events. Well, live-ish stand-up comedy events. I'm going to be doing uh, a test show on Zoom. Uh, tickets are available for that right now. They are free, and there's only 10 spots available. This is going to be a test show to find out, you know, what format's going to work, if there are technical difficulties that I need to figure out, and then figuring out uh, what consistent day to try to do... Um, these Zoom shows. I'll probably do a couple of them uh, while we are uh, currently in the quarantine situation. So that is available. Uh, the tickets for that are available right now. There's only 10 spots available. Uh, so make sure that you grab them um, before they're all gone. And then once we decide the date for the first official live-ish stand-up <laughs> comedy Zoom show, the virtual stand-up comedy show, uh, there will be um, about 15 tickets available for the first one. Uh, and then we'll, we'll go from there and we'll see, see what happens from there. Uh, so grab those tickets and come hang out with us uh, on the Zoom. Uh, like I said, make sure that you're subscribed. Make sure that you hit that like. Make sure that you share this out. Get the word out about these videos. And, uh, and you can go to my website to find out more stuff. Uh, Till the next video, take it easy.